ladies, first of all, respect to all of y'all that's watching. Those that's new, please sub. If you can, put thumbs up. And once again, enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your day. And uh, I, I, I think I... So, you know, respect to you, but thank you for looking out. Thank you for watching. Previous for Mr. Raffle in Trady Trade. Well, anyway, this guy here, he forgot to tell you. You know, he said, I'm going to dig inside the shoe. I'm going to dig inside the shoe. You heard him say it, right? He going to dig inside the shoe. He love digging inside stuff. Well, anyway... He want to act like he forgot to be all shy and stuff. Like, why you want to be shy now to dig in his shoe? Huh? Why you want to be shy now to dig in his shoe? Well, anyway, he love digging in shit. He only digging in stuff. Look, he keep digging in me all the time. He be, yes, he digged in me. We even do a video. I'm sitting here like, yo, why you, why you digging on me? He looking at me like, duh. I'm like, come on, man. Why you, we ain't even doing videos. You digging in me. I don't like to dig in stuff. You feeling all this? You, you making me all tingly, man. Shit. My eyes be running when you be doing it. Well, I, I been feeling like a little baby. Stop. Go, go, see, you making me say go, go, go. Stop, stop digging this stuff. You always make mistakes, God damn it. Every God damn time you make a mistake. God. Look. If, hey, look. If I made a mistake, you might see me next time home like this. Like, oh, stop. They killed them. No, they didn't kill me. It was just, you would show me, like, what could happen if I don't let him put his hand in my... Stop putting your hand in me! Damn, nigga. I, you know, I didn't mean to put you out there on Front Street, but I'm like, damn, nigga. You, you always digging in shit. Yo, I think you got, like, a fetish with digging in shit. You just be love digging it. You digging it. You be in it with your girl. You digging in it, huh? You, come on, man. I'm not digging you and be doing it, man. Shit. We might as well take you to Africa, you know, get some gold or some shit, man. God damn. Yo, shoot. You digging your nose. You digging when you, you playing with the ball, digging in all that shit. Stop digging in shit all in the air. God damn. But, yo, between me and you, between me and you, a puppy to another puppy. I like when you dig in me. That shit feel good, baby. I be like, shit, go ahead. I be like, nah, but I know you're going to do it anyway. That's why I be like, you probably go a little aggressive, I'm hoping. You know? Yo, but, yo, you know I had a little fuzz came out? And that shit didn't look good. It was like a different color, bro. So I think you're doing a little too rough with the fuzz, you know, with the poking. You got to take it easy. I'm a gentle puppet. Hi man, yo man, you better not put this on goddamn. You better not put this shit on one side of that shit, stupid motherfucker. All right, man, I'm out. Hey, what's up, man? Good morning, man. Good morning. Get that coal out your eyes. Don't rub it into your damn clothes or the goddamn day. Get your butt up. Go take a lead. Make sure if you're a man, you shake your thing. But don't, if you, hey, look, if you get it all over the place, make sure you get some tissue and wipe it off. Also, maybe get some, you know, some disinfectant type shit. You know, water ain't gonna just do it. All right, baby. Well, anyway, you see what the box coming into? Just in case if, you know, try to get these off somewhere if you don't already have it. And let's get into it, baby. You know, like when the curtain's like, da, da, ooh, ooh. Yeah, let's get into it. First thing I like to say with Air Max, y'all be having a goddamn lot of goddamn problems. Y'all need total goddamn quality control in effect. God damn it, because y'all be having a lot of mistakes. All the Air Maxes and all the different Air Max things, they be having a lot of problems. The first problem with it be having in that is right there. That's where if you want to look and see if you got problems, look there. That's usually where it's at. Also, the midsole. Because 
they only usually put a little bit of coats on it. This one looks like it got a little bit more coats. Let's get it in our hand. You know, let's get it in our hand. It's that Miami-ish. You know, Miami Vice type style. You see it, let's get it. This is on the lateral side, baby. And on the lateral side, we got the nice, what's that? Flusher, fl uh, future, you know, future, or future, you know, hey, who, you know, whatever it is. It's that close to pink. See that swoosh on that green right there. That green go all through the, the bubble inside. All the way right there. That look nice, baby. That look nice. Yeah, hey, then you got the little white little up there. That look good, daddy. How that look to y'all? That look all right. Now we get into the toolbox. Now, for some reason, Nike always allowing these guys to do nonsense. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's somebody boogers and they just, you know, they was like, I'm tired of goddamn working here. You know what? I'm going to leave my goddamn trademark in this motherfucker. So I don't know if that's their trademark. That could be Susie or Juan's trademark. Yep, let's look in closer. I think it is. I think it's Susie's. I think it's Susie. It looks like a girl. All right, now. We go in there and see all that mesh. A nice green mesh going all up. And the toe box is just, you know, white, pink, and white. Then in a little bit of that green mesh going all the way up. That green mesh. So it's going to have good ventilation. I don't know if the water going to go through. We're going to check it in a minute. But as we see it, with the nice piping on the tongue. This is the 97 model of the Air Max. You see right there matching right there to the tongue tab. The swoosh color is matching the swoosh that's on the lateral side and the medial side. As we take a look into the medial, start to spec it. The white mint so like I said, that's usually where it's supposed where usually to me where they make a lot of problems. I think that because of this the, the plastic bubble that you really got to get a nice fine white thick thing that doesn't show things like they be putting like less coating like you can see a little right there it's like they put less coatings onto the midsole and I think they should use it if they want to keep white they better find a better white that can go to the midsole like find a better white goddamn color that can stay onto the midsole better that white there looking like got a little shimmy. A little shimmy in it. Man. One thing I see with these, they're flying off the shelves at every store. Look at that. Somebody made a mistake. Look at that. Look like somebody got tired. And look like they just <laughs> said they're keeping it straight. Boom. And this is what I keep trying to say. I know it's this man. And this is Nike. <laughs> this is from Nike. I know this, and see, if this was a, a they'd be like, oh man, fake, fake, fake. Yo, cause look, see? No, these are from the real ones. It's just that night, to me, no disrespect, I love night, but your quality control on, on, on your products is terrible. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it at all, it's terrible. Rope laces, nice color. What's that, probably, uh, Light green, uh, I was gonna say like lavender, but lavender is not that type color, so whatever type green that is, this regular plastic, um, the shoe tip, this regular plastic, and then with that, see the inside going still with that same green thing, and then that nice green purple on, on the tab on the back, the heel tab, saying Air Max, stitching nice. See the details of what they wanted to do when it was like, okay, look, we're going to make this a green, white, and uh, pink shoe. And then we say, hey, look, we're going to put the pink here. We're going to put the pink swoosh there, the pink swoosh on the tongue, and the pink swoosh on, on the medial side. And then in the back, we're going to put a little, we're going to put pink still too on that green. All that is dope. Everything they want to do is say, okay, we're going to put white inside, white in sole. I mean, um, the color green and the swoosh is going to be white. Okay, that look nice. Matching with all that white and piping. Great. Underneath, we put that pink back on. Then got that green and then got that white. That white swoosh going with the white swoosh inside. So I, I dig it. 
you know, and then this I always say looking like a grenade in white, and then a little pink at the gas. So pink there, pink there. So pink in the front of the um, the outsole, and then in the back, pink again. So that's dope. All the details is dope, but they always it's the midsole problem. The paint that they use because it's on top of a bubble. This is a whole bubble right here. I would feel the bubbles probably up here. If not. It's still, once it get up to here, I think the bubble starts or whatever. But to me, what I start to see, that the white paint that they put on here, which to me I would call like a pearly white. And you see the swoosh right there. That it needs better coating. To me, I wouldn't even put this white here. It looks nice. But I think they got to find a better white to go for this, this plastic that's underneath it. And see, it just quality control which is sad and then nothing that I always be seeing too like some of the paint near the the bubble be you know what I mean sometimes messed up like right there you see how that little chip you see look at that clear all done and then chip and this was what I don't like it looks there it's just sloppy work look at that ain't that supposed to be the whole thing covered like from there to there like the whole thing and then look at that Look at that. Hit this. Uh, wait, uh, let's see, because I want to make sure it's right. Okay, it's just the black overriding on the white on that part. You see, though, I don't think that's supposed to be the thing. See? On that side, it's not. And then on that side, it's like the white a little bit. It's, it's like, it's just sloppy work at the end of that part. I don't know if the white supposed to be in there like that, but then on that side it's not. Or well, it's a little bit. Sloppy work, bro. That's just what it is to me. Look at that. A whole bunch of sloppy. Look at that. Look at all that sloppy work. Just sloppy, bro. Just sloppy work by um and this is the other shoe. And mind you now, I didn't wear these. This is just straight out the box. And look at that. This shoddy work, bro. This shoddy work. I know when they made it, they said, all right, we're going to have all that white stuff up on there added. We're going to have all that white stuff right there added. We're going to make white little stuff there. Now, I don't care what no one say. You know, take it the way I'm saying it. It is what it is. Yeah, I need to switch whoever's doing, who's making these. Now, off my head, if I'm just going to be on a stereotype, I think it's China that does these. If it's somewhere else, let's see. But sometimes they be having it. Where will tell you where it's at, but. Uh, it says Vietnam. Well, if this is in Vietnam, I would go ahead and take the, not the license away, because people should got to eat, but. I'll throw some, some supervising in that can do some real quality control where every box that comes, y'all should expect these and some, they should put their name on it so you know what, what you know what I mean, plant is coming from, or what time of the day, maybe they're not getting enough sleep, you know what I mean, I don't know what it is bro because I'm sure doing a lot of shoes all day, you gotta be tired soon too. I don't know what it is, but they just need quality control. And see, selling it wise, wearing it wise, to me it'd be a problem with these defects. Because when you're wearing it, you don't want no problems on it. And when you're selling it, you don't want no problems on it. So, uh, I don't know. They're nice. They be flying off the shelves. This one right here, I don't know. That's going to come off. Like I said, I think that's... Who calls booger? One of those ladies boogers or dude booger? I don't know. Yeah, that's what it is. That's the back of it. Let me get a good look. Like I said, they flying off shelves and stuff like that. What kills me on Stock X <laughs> while I'm on the topic is that the one that go on Stock X think they're supposed to get these for a lower value. Like, bro, these were I think there was 160 or one, I think it was 160 something, and they were taxed like 170 something. So you know what score you gotta get money too. So why would you sell it back for like 170 something? You might as well just go ahead and take it back. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Unless you're trying to show a good impression of keep keeping stuff. So it doesn't make sense why they'd be doing some of the uh, asking prices for these. But I'm about to go. They are nice. And just like I said, always check. Because this one don't have the ridges on it. Always check on for the ridges on these um, things. Especially on these 97 model. Um, 98. Just check. The 98, I think it's just the midsole. Off head. But anyone with that ridge, the this thing here that be rigid, check those stuff. Check near the bubble. That's where you're going to see a lot of mistakes at. Like especially like here, like I told you on the other one. This one is cool. But then this one. Okay, that's the cool one. It's the inside one. Check the inside part of it. Because then you see on the inside. Look at that. You see? That's shoddy work. And then it's just turning on the other side. If you want the other shoe. Not supposed to, it's supposed to either be full, but not like that, or like this. It's not supposed to be like this. It's supposed to probably be like that, full. It's supposed to be like that, full. Not like that. Not with that little extra pain on the side. Shoddy work. All right, man, I'm about to go. Night, you got to start getting these niggas butt. I'm out of there, baby. One love. Enjoy your Sunday.